Nothing grows in Chile's Salar de Atacama Desert, the driest place on the planet and one of the most remote. But to Tim McKenna, what's underground is paradise. It has the ideal conditions for what you see here. McKenna's company produces lithium, the world's lightest metal. And lithium powers the batteries in the cell phones, blackberries, and laptops that power the world. This is the richest deposit, ideal conditions, and that's, that's why it works here. Melting snow from the Andes Mountains runs into underground brine pools. That brine is pumped out. And in this network of ponds, the desert sun evaporates out other salts. The sun basically does all the work. The brine's processed into white powder, lithium carbonate, a growing part of the world's energy future. Two companies, one American, one Chilean, produce half the world's lithium right in this salt basin. And as a source of battery power, demand for lithium is about to soar. This fall, Mercedes will sell the first lithium-powered plug-in car. At least six more car makers plan their own models. Chevy expects its new Volt to get 230 miles per gallon off just one charge. This could have a massive effect on lithium demand. Here's why. In your cell phone or Blackberry's battery, the lithium weighs one-tenth of an ounce. In a plug-in car, the battery's lithium weighs 20 pounds. In 10 years, lithium's price per pound has tripled to around $3, with only three major companies dominating the world's market in a half dozen countries. Chile, the largest supplier, has been called the Saudi Arabia of lithium. It looks very similar to an OPEC-style cartel. It's highly concentrated. Uh, the various producers are sort of secretive about their expansion plans, about their pricing movements. Lithium producers deny that. Consumers will wait and see. But no question, in the world's evolving energy science, lithium means power. Mark Strassman, CBS News, in the Solar de Atacama, Chile.